good morning. Well, good afternoon because it's after 12 p.m. my time, but whatever part of the world you're in, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Caramel and welcome to my channel. It's good to have you here. If you're new, be sure to hit the subscribe button and watch the videos. If you like them, leave me a thumbs up. If not, I'm glad that you did spend some time here with me. So, I had a doctor's appointment two days ago and my doctor discussed the possibility for me to start Ozempic. Now, while I was on the phone with her and everything, well, the video, I I listened to her talk about how important it is, um, the success rate. But then I started watching videos about some of the issues that people had started to have. And there were a lot of great stories, but there were a lot of stories where people talked about being nauseated, um, their stomachs feeling too full. And that's one of the things that we did discuss while I was speaking with her. It does give you the idea that you're full because the appetite is, is suppressed. It needs to be suppressed. But I don't know if I want something making me feel like that. So I got a notification from the pharmacy and it tells me that it's ready. It's a zero dollar copay. And... As I was thinking about it, I sent a message to her through the patient portal and she hasn't responded. And I don't think she needs to because it was just me giving her some feedback about my thoughts concerning the medicine. I told her, you know, I was deciding against it. But the more I sit and think about it, it's like, what harm will it really cause me to just try it? Now, I don't do well with injecting anything into myself. I've never had to. So that's probably one fourth of my fear. The other three parts, the second part will be, will there be any complications? Um, that's probably, yeah, that's, that's big to me too. But outside of that, I'm trying to get our bed made up. And at a point, I'm going to go downstairs and try to find me something to eat. Let's see what happens with today. This is what I have to wake up and do every day if I want our bed fully made up. I have to pull all of these pillows out and... Y'all, sometimes it's a process, but I get it all done. So, now, most people would say, why do you have 14 pillows on your bed? I like for my bed to be made up. I just do. I like to feel like I'm on vacation every day. And... When it comes to my bedroom, I'm pretty much a minimalist. Like, when I say minimalist, meaning I don't have a lot of stuff on my walls. And now that I'm a little bit older and I'm starting to feel myself, I like to see stuff. So I'm thinking about putting a long picture up here. I have two new pictures downstairs that I haven't um I haven't thought about a place for, but I'm feeling like it would be ideal right above the headboard. So we'll see what happens with that. I got it made up. I have my cool mist humidifier on that side of the bed and it's so calming and I put um, essential oils in there and it smells so aromatic in here. It smells like a day spa y'all but I have this window up and it's probably about 60 degrees outside and the wind is not blowing too hard today but I don't want to feel any worse so I'm probably going to get ready to let it down but let's get into finding something here this is 
just one of my jewelry cases and this is what I come to typically on a daily basis to see what it is I want to put on. I don't know. I'm I'm weird because with all of the stuff that I do have, um, I find myself wearing the same pieces all the time. And maybe it's because I don't really go anywhere. I think that's kind of like what it is. And then I need to come in here. I have some pieces up in that part of the closet, but I need to come in here and I need to get my clothes situated. This is just one of the closets. My shoes and stuff are all downstairs in an area next to our den. And I got to get that all worked out because we were supposed to move at a point last year and we didn't. So all of that stuff that was packed is still down there. And here is the other part of my closet. <laughs> it's crazy, right? I know. Don't judge me. It's pretty unorganized, but again, I'm dealing with pain every day. I did have my stuff color coordinated, but I got tired of doing all that. So this is what it is until it ain't that no more. So um, I started feeling like I wanted to get a sore throat last night. And I told my husband, we have a neighbor that he goes to see quite often. And he's an older gentleman, nice retired veteran. But sometimes I feel like the more my husband goes around people, he predisposes us to become sick. And because I'm diabetic, child, I'm not trying to be sniffling and having colds and all that stuff. I try to prevent that. And I don't go anywhere often enough during the week for me to be getting anything. And I know that a lot of common colds are airborne, but... Mm -mm. So, I got my trusty dusty cough drops and I'm probably going to make me some hot tea. I but my toe on that floor vent where you see that travel bag. That's a travel size massager that we take when we go on little mini trips and stuff. And I put that bag there to prevent me from injuring my foot because, again, I'm diabetic and foot injuries are not good. But... Let me move this tripod. Child, don't pay my my fingernails no attention. I got to get my nails done. But we're going to go here. And I'm thinking, I'm just keep it simple. I'm just going to put this on. And that's that. This white earring right here. It's giving. She's coming together, y'all. What y'all think? I think it's okay. Don't mind that stuff in the background. It's a process. I got to get all that stuff put away. But yeah, I'm getting ready to get some things wiped down and I'll be back. A lot of mornings when I wake up or midday, I get into my word. I don't see how anybody starts their day without talking to God, some prayer, reading a scripture, you got to keep the word of God on the tablet of your heart. I also take oil that I've anointed and I place that oil on my body wherever I feel like I want it. And I open my word. And usually 23rd Psalms is where I start from. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me, in the presence of my enemies, thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Now that prayer, 
That's one for the books, y'all. And then I take my anointing oil and I just put it wherever I want to. You can put it wherever you want to on your body. My knees bother me. I rub it on my knees. If I have pain other places, I rub it there too. I do it for protection. I put it on my doorknobs. I put it on my window seals. It's just, it symbolizes protection, peace, a oneness with God, covenant, you know. So if you're somebody who is a believer or you want to get to know God, start through prayer and inviting him in to your heart, to your personal space, read you a scripture. If you're somebody who struggles with reading, start small and God will give you the utterance to go forward. I know for me, I, I struggle a lot and it's becoming easier over time. And it gives me so much peace, like when I'm battling in my mind or if me and my husband are not seeing eye to eye, I just go to the word and it's so freeing. Like you can have an emotion, but God doesn't want us to stay in those places. So if you're someone who wants to be comforted, invite the Holy Spirit in. God will see to it that he sends the Holy Spirit to dwell with you. Read your word, you know, it's your sword. It is the thing for me that gets me through every day. Because without that, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. After I do all that, it might seem like a little bit to some, but that's like exercise for me, y'all. <laughs> oh, you ever sit down somewhere and just think about something and just start chuckling to yourself? Like, really? <laughs> um, but yeah, I turned my light off because I just want to feel some natural daylight coming into the room. That uh, artificial light is starting to bother me. And I'm kind of thinking that's one of the reasons why I got dizzy the other night. Because I always have all of these ring lights and panel lights in front of me. And these glasses, my lenses are, these are computer lenses. These are not intended for me to wear all day. But I find myself with these glasses on. Even when I'm not reading, I'll put them on and I'll have them like, <laughs> let me show y'all like this <laughs> y'all oh my goodness but no I'm getting ready to I'm gonna go downstairs and maybe fry me a pork chop or saute me a pork chop just something I need something on my belly I you know when my husband's not home I don't cook a whole lot because he works long hours. So when my body feels like it, um, because it does wake up in sections, my body, it just does what it wants to do. So I don't force myself. But when I feel up to it, I don't mind fixing a good meal. But when it's just me, I can eat me a piece of meat and a piece of fruit and I'm happy. I don't have to have all the sides and stuff like that. Now, depending on what it is I fix, I will cook something good, but we'll make some magic happen. Let's see what happens when we get downstairs. I'm unsure what kind of tea I want because my throat does feel a little uncomfortable, but I got some raspberry tea. And this is chamomile. I'm not really a fan of that. And here's some green tea. And I also have this peach mango. So 
We'll see. I think I'm just going to get me a nice mug out of the cabinet. And I do have a few different mugs, but the real boss. That's what I'm feeling like today. Oh, Lord, your mercy. really a hot tea person but if it's gonna help me feel better I gotta do what I gotta do I need to find oh here it is I usually keep like little lemon and lime shots but this one's already open, so I'm just going to add a little drop of that. And I just got to get some sugar put in. I like to use the stevia or whatever you want to call it. But I don't have any more, so we got to make do with what we have. I mean, I'm sure the honey would have been sufficient but I'm not going to do too much sugar because I don't want to do too much sugar I decided to make me a pork chop with some uh, white rice that I have left over from some curry chicken that I made and I am going to open up this can of tomatoes, okra, and corn. I love it, love it, love it. And that's going to be probably lunch, dinner, because it's already like 2.22. Child, this mug is hot. They should have made the handle a little bit further away, but here's the tea, and I'm going to taste it. When I woke up this morning, or while I was sleeping rather, I could feel that my um, throat was it, was, it was on fire. Right now it doesn't feel as bad because I popped two 500 milligram Tylenol. Let's see. Oh, that's perfect. You know you, you, know you can make some tea. When on the first round, it's the right sweetness. Oh, you ever had that hurt so good kind of feeling? That's that's what I got going on. Hurt so good. So I'm gonna get all of these. I even found this in my cabinet. This is how much stuff I keep. Ginger peach green tea, but it's Slim Sister. Okay, I don't know. That or Ozempic. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll get it all worked out. Whatever that is, whatever it looks like, we're going to get it all worked out.
back so hard, I thought I wanna die. Blood dripping from my arm, just wanna feel inside. Y'all ever heard a song and it just moves you? Oh my gosh. Let you guys see what I am doing here. Okay. I'll take a little bit of this corn and it's more corn than anything, honestly. And I'll put that on top and I added a little onion to the pot. I haven't had this in a while. This is one of my grandmother's dishes, y'all. Except she had far more okra. So you guys tell me what you think. This is what lunch looks like for me. When I'm home, alone. And again, don't pay these unpainted fingernails any mind. I usually don't like going to the nail salon because my nail bed stays so weak. But I'm going to have to get that cheap dollar store white nail polish off. But your girl is, she about to grow. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bite with you first before I eat. Because I like to watch TV while I eat. Do y'all like to watch TV while you're eating? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I'm gonna take a piece of this pork chop and see what this is hitting on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's season two, y'all. And look. I can't forget my Tabasco. I love me some Tabasco, okay? But I'm going to go ahead and I call it swallowing the plate. Mm-hmm.